Dear Logan, so sorry to trouble you at this late hour. I do realize what an intense time this must be for you. With the abductions and murders happening throughout the city, it must be a heavy burden to be the detective in charge of this case. I am, however, extremely worried about Olivia. She has been missing for the last 24 hours. As you know, she recently went through a painful breakup and... I shudder to think the Lonely Hearts killer might have kidnapped her too. I dearly hope I am wrong, but I am her father, and everything inside me tells me she is in trouble. Please, help me find her. Your old and loyal friend, Owen Wright. That must be Logan. I'll get the door. I wonder where my keys are. Owen, it's me. I came here as fast as I could. Open up. Just a minute, Logan. Let me find my keys. I'm waiting. There they are. Uh, this weather is going to kill me. Let me make you a cup of tea. Listen, Owen, when Olivia went missing, why didn't you report it right away? You must be aware of what's been happening lately. This... this Lonely Hearts killer is a real maniac. If it turns out that he did kidnap your daughter, then we only have... We only have 30 days to find her before she's killed. Are your men looking for her? As we speak. I ordered them out of the room as soon as I got your message. Thank you, Logan. No, Owen, don't thank me just yet. 
Let me warm up a bit. Then we need to pay a visit to the Hall Widow. There's been an unconfirmed report that she saw Olivia this morning. Logan's waiting for his cup of tea. He's ready. Great. Thank you. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. Olivia just wanted to be alone for a while, what with that incident at the ball. But we have to make sure that she's all right. Mark my words, Logan. If I ever get my hands on that low-life Lewis... We should get going. Charlotte's having a dinner party. We should get a chance to talk to her and her guests. Let's go. <laughs> Strange. These gates were never locked before. I see. The gate mechanism is broken. We need to go to Charlotte's now. We'll fix it when we come back. Right. a statue like this in their front yard. Maybe that's how Charlotte scares unwanted suitors away. Owen, I know you're worried sick, but try to keep a level head talking to people in there. And to think, I used to say that to you back in the day. How things change. Ace of Hearts. Oh, that's it! I've never seen anyone as slimy as you, Archie! Hi, Logan. Sorry about that. It's all right. Mr. Owen Wright, you aren't often a guest in my house. You're most welcome. How do you do, madam? A pleasure to see you. Although, I'm afraid this is not a social call. Of course. How can I be of service? We understand that you saw Olivia this morning. Yes, I saw Olivia talking to Leonard Bain earlier today. Where was that? Did you see where they were going? If I remember correctly, it was by the residential area. Well, that's right. They weren't going anywhere. She was just standing there talking to him. Speaking of Len, he's been acting rather strangely lately. Oh, and one more thing. I saw Olivia take off her headband and give it to him. Her headband? That's interesting. Thank you, Charlotte. That was very helpful. Always happy to be of service, Detective. And now, if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to the game. Owen? Oh, and please, give my condolences to Mr. Benjamin Ross. We need to find Bane. He couldn't have gone too far. The entire world has gone mad, I am telling you. People are afraid to step outside. And these awful murders. Have you noticed how they're only killing people from the upper class? It's terrible. With the Lonely Hearts killer, it's the same every time. He'll kidnap someone and hold them for 30 days, then leave the body in a public place with their heart carved out. And get this, he puts a yellow lotus over where the heart used to be. Oh, it's so horrible. And a little poetic. 
Oh, by the way, did you know that the Hall's family crest was a yellow lotus? My darling nephew likes to say, when I grow up, I'm going to have a son and name him Oscar. We're going to go hunting together. Such a good little boy. Already thinking about the future. <laughs> Leonard dislikes me because he's jealous of my success as a writer. You know, he gets ticked when I outdo him at anything, however minor. Especially at cards. Peter Ross. That poor fellow. I don't know how Benjamin will find it in himself to cope with the loss. You know, take my novels. You'll find no shortage of love stories and tragedies in there. But what's been happening in the city is beyond belief. All these murders. Mrs. Charlotte Erin Hall has always been kind to me. It's a pleasure to be a guest here. Nothing like a good game of cards to take the edge off. Uh, say, Owen, would you be a good sport? See, I'm running a bit low on cash. I wonder if you could spot me a bit. I'll pay you back. Poor Benjamin Ross. What a terrible tragedy to outlive your own son. You know my niece, she's gone missing too. My niece Elizabeth, she was engaged to a sailor who never came back from one of his voyages. The poor girl was crushed and before long she went missing. I hope to God it's not the Lonely Hearts killer. Or maybe she just wanted to be alone for a while and ran away from home. This murderer kidnaps people who have been set back in love and kills them. That's how he got his name, the Lonely Hearts Killer. I hate to hear that your daughter has gone missing too. What Hugh Lewis did to her was unforgivable. As a matter of fact, I hold him personally responsible for her disappearance. This time the Lonely Hearts Killer really went too far. He had the gall to dump a body right in front of the police station. Well, that's a slap in the face for all of us. Poor Peter. We're all going to miss him terribly. Like I said, Olivia was in the residential district this morning, talking to Leonard Bain. Len's a good musician, but his quick temper has caused us embarrassment on more than one occasion. Owen, I hope you've already seen my shoe collection.
I knew the statue was there for a reason. Considering the circumstances, we might find new evidence at the crime scene. We need every lead we can get our hands on. I'll give you a hand with the search. Owen, I'll be at the crime scene waiting for you. You remember? By the fountain in the park? Logan, I'm not old enough to start forgetting things, especially this important. Excuse me, sir. The park is currently off limits. Young man, I am a friend of Logan Green's. He is expecting me at the crime scene. I'm sorry, sir, but knowing the name of my commanding officer does not give you any extra privileges. Listen, if you won't let me in, at least call for Logan out here, and he'll straighten everything out. I have my orders to stand guard. I am sorry, sir. What a stubborn fellow. Looks like I'll need to find another way in. You need a permit to come in, otherwise please stand back.
There you are, Owen. I've been looking for you everywhere. Why didn't you show up at the crime scene? One of your uniforms, a young fellow, wouldn't let me in. I identified myself, but he wouldn't have it. Evans, damn it, he's nothing but trouble, that boy. All right, let's meet back at the plaza. I'll walk you past him. All right, I'll see you there. Detective Green! Look here, Evans. I don't enjoy running all across town to make up for your boneheaded mistakes. Didn't I tell you to let Owen Wright through as soon as you saw him? My mistake, Detective. I was expecting Mr. Owen Wright to look differently. And what exactly was he supposed to look like to you? Well, I, I was expecting some resemblance to Olivia. And it didn't occur to you that she might have taken after her mother? Uh, begging your pardon, sir. Won't happen again, sir. Now, now, gentlemen. We have pressing business at hand. Reprimanding a young officer can wait. Right you are, Owen. Evans, you're needed at the crime scene. I have seen my share of horrors in war, but to kill a man and turn him into a stage prop. You've got that right. I was really shaking when the first victim turned up, but the guy, this Lonely Hearts killer, was just getting started. S sir I completely forgot- Yes, what is it this time? I found this, while inspecting the crime scene. Evans, you're going to be the end of me. Owen, this headband. This was Olivia's. It has musical notes written on it. Charlotte said she saw Olivia give her headband to Leonard Bain this morning. I wouldn't want to jump to conclusions here, but I think the Lonely Hearts killer might be none other than Bain. <sighs> we need to search Bain's house immediately. I'll meet you there. Evans, you have a permit from my office. Give it to Owen, will you? Yes, sir in case you ever need something from my office. Here is the permit. Take it, sir. Thank you, Evans. Hello, Owen. You know what I'm going to do when I find the lowlife who did this to my son? I'm going to kill him, as God is my witness. I understand your Olivia has gone missing, just like Peter did 30 days ago. Owen, don't let this happen again. Find the monster, leave no stone unturned. God forbid you should have to go through this too. There is nothing more terrible in this world than to lose your own child. Sir? I apologize for the misunderstanding back there. Very well, right this way.
He's not home. Maybe he suspected something. Either way, we have to get inside and look for evidence. And for clues to Olivia's whereabouts. So what are we waiting for? Let's go in! The door is locked to solid. See that ladder up there leading to Leonard's window? It's glued to that platform, but a blast of hot steam should melt the glue and bring it down.
Here, kitty, kitty. You know, Owen, I might as well let you in on a secret. I may be a police detective, but I'm never entirely sure of what I'm supposed to be doing on the job. Sometimes I get the feeling that things work themselves out without my help. If anything, your intuition has saved us more than once, Logan. I'm glad you are the way you are. Sorry I brought it up, Owen. This isn't the time or the place. Let's focus on the business at hand. This cupboard looks funny. We need to open it, but how? Could you take a look? Sure. What a strange lock. I need to think about this. We might find new evidence inside this cupboard. Well, that might have been a bit over the top.
We need to arrest Leonard Bane immediately. I hope you get to that monster before I do. Detective Green, this report just came in. Leonard Bane was seen in the pub by the port. Should we seize him? This whole room is crawling with evidence. Have him arrested, Evans, right now. Yes, sir! Hmm. Let's go, Owen. They're bringing Bane in. We need to question him thoroughly. I hope to God Olivia is still safe. If the killer has her, we have 29 days. She should survive for that long. Let's go. There's no use denying it, Bane. All the evidence is pointing at you. You were seen with Olivia the morning before her disappearance. Her headband, with the musical notes you wrote on it, was found near Peter Ross's body. Your cupboard was filled to the brim with the killer's signature card. Yellow Lotus Flowers. So what? Yes, I saw Olivia, yes! I wrote some music on her headband. She was having a terrible time, and I was being there for her. I mean, I wrote a song to cheer her up. What about the lotus flowers in the cupboard? I don't know anything about that, but I have a hunch, and a good one, that this is all Archie Thompson's doing. And why would Archie Thompson, a man of stature and literary accomplishment, do something as childish as planting fake evidence on someone who's jealous of him? You're not actually saying that he is the Lonely Hearts killer. I am not jealous of his accomplishments! Are you all blind? Archie Thompson is taking every last one of you for a ride! And he keeps making a fool out of me because I'm the only one who notices! Oh, I'm not the fool here! No way! Everyone around me is! And yes, that blasted Archie Thompson is the Lonely Hearts killer! Sure, I don't have any evidence, but it's him! I just know it! You're holding me here for no reason when you should be taking a good hard look at him instead! You were seen in the park today. Loitering around the fountain. Oh, how unusual for a citizen to take a walk in the park! Don't smart off now. We have eyewitness testimony saying that you were acting suspiciously, snooping around the fountain and the statue where Peter Ross was found, as if looking for something. What were you doing there? Speak up! That's none of your business. We'll make it our business! Talk or else! Surely you realize what's going to happen to you when they find you guilty. You better level with us, boy. Detective Green, sir! I have an emergency report, sir! Well, spit it out already, Evans. There's been another murder. Another victim of the Lonely Hearts killer. Ah, oh, you see? I told you it wasn't me! Damn it. Don't worry, Mr. Wright. It's not Olivia. Listen to what I'm saying! Bring Archie Thompson in, and you'll be saving a lot of lives! For all we know, there could be more than one killer out there. What?! Hello, Logan. Sorry it took so long. I didn't get your message immediately. What happened? Owen, there's been another murder. The body of Elizabeth Kirk, Jonathan's niece, turned up near the port. She's been missing too, as you know, but she's always been the runaway type, so no one raised a ruckus. I'm afraid this time it was serious. Oh, Lord! Heaven forbid that Olivia too... that she... Owen, we still have time. I know that's little comfort now, but we're doing everything we can to find her. I called Archie Thompson in for questioning. Leonard Bain, of course, is running his mouth, but we had to check his statements. Archie Thompson is a rather strange character, if you ask me, but he has an alibi. The night of Peter Ross's murder, he was playing poker with Jonathan Kirk. Cleaned him out, too. Plus, we have several eyewitnesses that saw them together on the night of the crime. Well, that's not helping. We don't have any leads again. You're right. We have nothing to go on here, but we have a new victim, and we might catch a break at the crime scene. Evans is already there with a couple other bluecoats. Archie and Charlotte are also on their way. They wanted to comfort Jonathan. This is just too hard. But we can't sit around and do nothing. Let's go, Logan. Let's hurry up and go! Hmm. The bridge is up, so Archie Thompson and Charlotte should still be at the pub. Owen, would you please let them know that we're going to Jonathan Kirk's soon? 
Meanwhile, I'll be at the crime scene. All right, Logan. I'll catch up with you later. Damn it. Owen, are you still there? This thing is stuck. Must have been a while since they oiled it. Listen, could you put some grease on the drive there? Olive oil should be fine. Just a minute, hold on in there! I'm not going anywhere. Could you help me get the elevator moving? Owen, it's you! Oh, this is such a tragedy! Poor Elizabeth! Oh, this must be especially hard for you, since the killer has Olivia, too, now. Oh, forgive me, Owen. Please, forgive me. These are terrible times. All these horrible things are happening, and nobody knows why. Poor Jonathan needs our support now, more than ever. Logan says we should all meet at Kirk's. Thank you, Owen. Truth be told, we were getting tired of waiting. Jonathan? He's a good man, if you put aside his love of poker. He's so broke right now that he can't even afford to pay for Elizabeth's funeral. We're going to help, of course, but he really needs to do something about his gambling. Leonard is still behind bars. I actually feel sorry for him. Sure, he's been bad-mouthing me and even saying I'm the killer. But I think that's just failed ambition talking. You know, Owen, I once heard a fascinating story. It was both romantic and tragic. A man met a woman and they fell in love. Their love was passionate and untamed, and they were oblivious of everything around them. They came from different worlds, but never cared what people said. Love for them was the center of existence. But one day the light fainted and gave way to darkness, the crystal of illusions fell and shattered to pieces. The woman had gone missing without a trace, as if she never existed. Her lover was crushed by the pain and the horror of the unknown. Despair ate at him until he too faded away into nothingness. And what became of him, no one knows. You might think this is a meaningless story, but there is a lot in there about the things that stand in the way of true love. I suggested it for one of Archie's novels, but he said it would be a boring read. He knows better, of course, but still, I would love to read a book based on this.
Thanks, Owen. I'll be waiting for you at the crime scene. What the hell is going on? Who would do such a thing? Mr. Wright? Sir? Maybe it's better if you didn't look. It happened just over a month ago. Elizabeth received news that her fiancé had died at sea. The Lonely Hearts killer got wind of this, and here we are. Jonathan Kirk is beside himself with grief, but we understand he has some information regarding Elizabeth's disappearance. He says he remembered something. We need to go talk to him. And we need to find out who's been stalking us and shouting all those threats. I'll see you at the bridge. We need to get across the bridge, but for some reason the handle on the lowering mechanism is missing. is preposterous. Shouldn't there be someone minding the bridge? As soon as we're done with Jonathan, somebody on the city council is going to get a piece of my mind. You know, everything that's been happening lately, it's been so overwhelming. I'm hoping to get a chance to work on my new novel, once things settle down eventually. I'm sorry if that sounds insensitive. It's just that when I'm not writing, I take things a little too close to heart. Kirk lives on the other side. We need to hurry up and get the bridge down. We need to find out what that important information about Elizabeth is all about. Excellent. See you all at Jonathan Kirk's house.
animals like you don't deserve to live. I'll have my revenge. This is getting out of hand. See, Logan, this was all my fault. I should have reported it when she went missing, but Elizabeth had a habit of running away from home and staying out of touch for a while. So I didn't think much of it when she disappeared on me again. I understand perfectly, Jonathan. Now, I was told you had some important information about Elizabeth. Yes, yes. Not long after her fiancé died. Elizabeth told me she saw something suspicious in the abandoned railway tunnel. I brushed it off at the time, but after what happened... Did she say what it was? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, it's something we have to follow up on regardless. We'll check the tunnel. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you to let me know how it goes. Owen, we need to examine the railway tunnel. I'll be waiting for you there. All right, Logan. Poor Jonathan is beside himself. I've never seen him like this before. You know, out of all this chaos, some things are starting to come together for me. Obvious things I never used to pay attention to. Look, I understand this isn't the time or the place, but what happened was entirely Jonathan's fault. Oh, you must think I'm cruel, but I'll say this much. You have to watch young people these days, and Jonathan couldn't take his mind off poker long enough to think about the safety of his own niece. Archie doesn't agree with me and argues with me when I scold Jonathan. I have to say, it's not hard to see why Leonard isn't so fond of our little novelist. Archie Thompson doesn't know the first thing about being tactful, and is always working for a slap in the face. I'm sorry, Owen. I've told you everything I know. I'd like to be alone for a while now, if you don't mind. I'm sorry, Owen. I... Matilda really surprises me sometimes. Jonathan is dealing with a tragedy here, and all she can do is put the blame on him. Really, even supposing what she said was true, at a time like this, you just don't bring something like that up. We all need to rest, especially Charlotte. It doesn't look like she's taking all of this too well.
This is an unusual lock. I have no idea how to open it. Owen, we need to think of something. There might be important clues in that tunnel. You're right. Time is of the essence. Listen, Logan. On my way to Jonathan's house, I heard that voice again shouting threats at me. I'm worried about that. I am too. We have to find out what's going on.
end of the road for you! Who are you and what do you want? Good job, Owen. Let's not waste a second. It's too dark to see in there. They used to put illumination systems in these tunnels to make it easier on maintenance crews. We should turn the lights on so we can get a good look inside. Close call. You... you should have been dead. How did you... Jonathan, are you insane? What are you talking about? You murderers! You should have died in there. You should have gotten what was coming to you. Jonathan Kirk, I am hereby placing you under arrest for attempted murder. So, Jonathan, I'm glad to see you've come back to your senses. Never mind all the precious time we've wasted waiting for you to come around, time that might have cost someone else their life. Mr. Owen Wright here. The murderer is holding his daughter hostage as we speak. Does it matter to you at all that she might die too? 
Now, I hope you're satisfied that neither I nor Owen Wright are in any way responsible for these tragic events and for the murder of your niece Elizabeth in particular. What on earth possessed you to think that we were the killers? And who exactly tried to kill us in that abandoned railway tunnel? Back there in the tunnel, the person who tried to kill you was Benjamin Ross. Why would Dr. Ross want to kill us? Because he thinks you murdered his son. And what, pray tell, made the two of you believe such a thing? Because I told him so. And I heard it from my anonymous guardian angel. Say what? What guardian angel? And why would you take anyone's word for something like that? For years now, this mysterious person has been sending me these letters. He has supported me spiritually as well as financially. I'm a gambler, you know. I always need the money. So, somebody bought your opinion? Yes and no. He said he used to be a gambler too, and that he lost everything and ended up at the very bottom. And that is when he had a moment of clarity. He quit gambling, got his wealth back, and vowed to help others do the same. Why would he just keep giving you money knowing full well you'd just gamble it away? Didn't that seem suspicious to you? He said he was helping me keep my family afloat. I ended up needing him, and he never asked for anything in return. He stayed anonymous to make sure I wouldn't feel obligated to return his favors. All he wanted was to get me out of gambling. He said it was the greatest reward he could hope for. All right, let's go back to the murder attempt. What did your guardian angel tell you about us? He'd been so worried about these killings over the past six months. When my Elizabeth died, I received an urgent letter from him saying that the two of you were the real murderers. That a detective job was the perfect cover for a serial killer. Otherwise, how could the police have been so stupid and let the killer run free for so long? And I believed him. He said someone should take justice into their own hands, and he also suggested I talk to Dr. Ross, because he too had lost a loved one to this lonely heart's killer. I had a meeting with Benjamin Ross, and he agreed with me. And then what? And then you know what happened. Benjamin set up a trap in the tunnel, and I lied to get you to go in there. You remember the story I told you about Elizabeth seeing something suspicious in the tunnel before she went missing? That was a lie. The killer is no longer holding back. He's attacking us head on. Sir, shall I put out a bulletin for the arrest of Dr. Ross? <sighs> Take care of that, Jaden, will you? Yes, sir. Owen, we have a lead to the killer again, however tenuous. We need to find out the identity of this anonymous guardian angel. We need to get our hands on Dr. Ross before he does something stupid again. He might also have some more information that could help the investigation. How are you, Logan? I got your message, but I would have come anyway. You see, I got this letter and it's full of threats. It seems to be from the killer. It says, Another suffering soul set free. Be at Chinatown today at noon, or your loved ones will be sure to follow. Everyone got that letter. You, me, Charlotte, Archie, Matilda. They found identical ones at Jonathan's house, at Leonard's, and at the residence of Dr. Benjamin Ross. Even Jaden got one. What the hell is going on? Don't we still have six days left? I have a lot of questions myself. But right now, those letters are the one good lead we have to the killer. We still haven't found Dr. Ross. It's as if he vanished from the face of the Earth. Looks like we're going to Chinatown. You know, Logan, this Lonely Hearts killer has escaped Lady Justice and her soul just about long enough. All I ask is that Justice gets him before Olivia. We still have time, Owen. Don't give up hope yet. As for the blindfolded lady here, it occurs to me she's been slacking off lately. All right, time to head out. This time around, the crime scene is a Chinese garden. I'll be waiting for you there. It still looks like a trap to me. Do you think we'll find any clues there? We have no choice. The only way is to go on.
Detective Logan is waiting for you at the crime scene. No one seems to know the victim. The locals must be scared too, because they're all gone. I'm worried. This is not our killer's M.O. Something must have scared him enough to make this murder different. Someone must have seen something. Or at least heard something. If there is someone, we'll find them. Detective Logan! I haven't found anyone. There's not a single soul around except for the hotel clerk. That doesn't surprise me. Jaden, stand guard here while I interview the people at the hotel. Yes, sir. Owen, we need to question everyone at the hotel. Charlotte, Matilda, or Archie might remember something. We can't do anything else here. The victim was a calligrapher. That's all we know about. Who knows? Maybe this means something. See you at the hotel. Hmm. A calligrapher. man. We don't even know who he was. My instincts are not as good as Detective Green's, but I have had a bad feeling about all of this. Something terrible is about to happen. I know it's your job to ask the same thing over and over again, but quite frankly, our patience is running thin with all your questioning. Am I right, Charlotte? Hmm? Oh, yes, sure. What is it? I don't think you heard a single word I said. You've been so absent-minded lately. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Detective Logan, I, I have nothing more to add. 
You're right about one thing. It is my job. I'm afraid this investigation takes precedence over anything else, however tired or offended you might feel. What a waste of time. Archie didn't say anything new. Well, at least he was polite about it. All right. I'll be waiting for you outside. We need to go back to the crime scene. Archie Thompson had already moved into his room and invited us for drinks. But of course you understand that ladies don't go visiting a man in his room. I don't like how absent-minded Charlotte has been lately. A lady of her stature should always keep herself in check. You know, Owen, that story I told you about that couple who couldn't be together? It keeps haunting me. I see these vague images, pieces of memories. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's gotten into me. I, I was thinking out loud. I just... I just need to rest. I'm so tired. Welcome to our hotel. Don't worry, sir. The latest unpleasant events notwithstanding, our hotel is always open for guests. At the moment, we are running into some snags getting the rooms ready, but that should be taken care of in an instant. Oh, it's you, Owen. Those letters, they got everyone rattled up. I should be at home writing. Instead, I'm holed up in here waiting for I don't know what to happen. I can't write anything in this place. Archie, why did you come? You don't have any family. There's nothing for you to worry about. Depends on who you call family. No, I don't have any relatives. But I do have close friends, and I don't want to lose them. Well, I understand that. This latest victim, he was a calligrapher, as I understand. How tragic that people of the writing arts should have to leave this world. Sorry, that might have sounded a bit cynical. So, Owen, did you get a room here already? I didn't. I don't have time to sit around waiting. You must be worried sick, and I understand that. But I think some rest would do you good. When the mind is tired, the world moves too fast to keep up. And you need all your wits about you if you're to find Olivia. Thank you, Archie. I'll keep that in mind. I hope Detective Logan finds enough leads at the crime scene to get to Olivia. I pray she turns up fine. Charlotte has me worried these days. Everyone keeps talking about how she's not being herself, but hardly anyone offers to help. I'm going to look after her.
Owen, I think... You should go to the old sewer canals! That is where you'll find your answers! There goes Ross again. This might be a trap. We have to check it out anyway. I am so tired of this. All right, great work. I'll go first. I'll be waiting for you down there. Hurry up. Logan, when I was going to Chinatown, Ross was shouting from somewhere again. 
This time he said we'd find our answers by the old fisherman's house. The other time he was saying something about the sewers. What do you think he's trying to do? Interesting. I can't be sure, but I think those two places might be connected. These sewers should take us to the fisherman's place. Who knows? We have to check up on this anyway. Another locked door. We have to open it. I can see a fisherman's house from here. We're almost there. We need to find a way out!
Let's go. Hurry up. Hmm, there's the fisherman's house, all right. Doesn't look like much. Let's go in. Oh no, I think that came from the hotel. That's where everyone is. Good heavens! Inside the hotel. Oh Lord, I heard Archie Thompson screaming. I heard him burn alive in that room. And Charlotte? What happened to her? Charlotte is fine. You see, just before the explosion, Dr. Ross came up to her. They talked for a while and then left the hotel together. I was watching from afar, of course. It made me curious, so I followed them at a distance. But as soon as I stepped outside, there was that dreadful blast. Oh, the humanity! I'm such an idiot. Jaden, stay here with Matilda. I'll take care of everything. I'm sorry, Owen. I have to leave you for now. I knew it! I just knew it! Something awful was going to happen! I heard his screams. Archie, I heard him burn alive.
Owen, hold on. There you are. There is something I wanted to tell you. Hold it! Hold it right there! Oh no, Charlotte! Who... who did this to you? Who was that? I... Uh, I'm sorry, Owen. I, I was so foolish. Charlotte, it's... it's all right. You have nothing to apologize for. Who did this to you? Charlotte! How did... how did he get you? What is going on here? Not now! I'll explain later. You knew, didn't you? How did he do this to you? <laughs> I had a choice. Become an exhibit or... or die like this. I didn't want to be a stage prop. Forgive me. I shouldn't have left you alone. I knew he would try to kill you. But I was hoping he died in that fire. He? Who is he? Archie Thompson. Oh, he's the killer. Hurry. He's going to kill all his prisoners. No ritual this time. He's holding them all in his mansion. All of them. Oh. I am sorry. I'm so sorry, Charlotte. But Matilda said Archie was killed in the hotel fire. Who was that man? That was Archie. He's the killer, dammit. He got away. Dr. Ross? You're the last person I expected to see. How is Charlotte? Is she going to make it? I'm afraid she is dead. Logan, we need to hurry up. Right before she died, Charlotte said Archie was holding those people in his mansion and was going to kill them off without any ritual. We should head out immediately. Dear God. Benjamin, you are under arrest. We have a carriage stationed outside. There's no time to waste. Jaden will take us to Archie's mansion and you can explain yourself along the way. This is worse than I thought. We leave right now. Well, Dr. Ross, I would like to hear your side of the story now. Logan, I'm not feeling well. I... Everything's a haze and I have a ringing in my ears. You're exhausted, Owen. You need to rest. Try to get some sleep while we're on the way. It's a pretty bumpy road, but you need some rest. Suppose you're telling the truth. How could you know that Archie was the real killer? After I tried to get rid of you because I thought you'd killed Peter, I realized I'd been blinded by revenge. Yes, I took Jonathan at his word, but please understand that both of us were puppets in the hands of Archie Thompson. When they arrested Kirk, I started my own investigation. I spent days on end following every single one of you around. <coughs> when he stepped out, I searched his briefcase and found a sealed letter addressed to Jonathan. It sounded a lot like what Jonathan said his guardian angel used to write to him. That was my first clue, but I had to find more. I needed an ally, so I contacted Len Bain. I knew he'd help me. He hated Archie so much. You had hard evidence. Why didn't you come to me? I was wanted by police and I was not going to prison. Not before I could kill Archie with my own hands. So, Len Bain was right about Archie after all. Those flowers in his cupboard were fake evidence planted by the killer. What happened to Len? I helped him break out of prison this morning. What? Jaden, why was I not informed that Len escaped? Oh, sorry, sir. I only heard about it myself just before we found Dr. Ross. And then with all the commotion, it, it slipped my mind completely. Jaden, what am I going to do with you? All right, then. Let's hear the rest of it. Archie realized he was being followed and started getting desperate. He killed the calligrapher, the Chinese man he hired to write those letters because he didn't speak a word of English. The poor bastard had no idea what he had been writing, but Archie got rid of him anyway, just to be sure. He made the body into an exhibit to make it look like another broken heart. And the worst of it, the calligrapher invited us to his own funeral. Remember those threatening letters urging us to Chinatown? He wrote those too. Archie is the devil incarnate. 
Ah, what do you know about the explosion? That was Archie's plan all along. He put explosives in the hotel, plotting to blow everyone up, and stage his own death too. Take care of everyone in one broad stroke, but Len and I decided to step in and make sure he got killed instead. We did our best to lure everyone away from the hotel, by any means necessary. The two of you I sent to the old fisherman's house. Hmm. And Len was supposed to go to Archie's room and immobilize him, so it would look like he died in the explosion. I was worried about Lenny. He was livid with hatred towards that man. He loved your daughter, Owen. He even got her a ring. Wanted to surprise her and hid it in the fountain, but by an ironic twist of fate, it was the same fountain where my boy, my Peter, was dumped by that monster. Things are getting pretty complicated. All right, go on. How did Archie survive, and where is Len? Didn't Matilda say she heard Archie screaming in the fire? You see, Archie got the better of Len in that hotel room. It was Lenny who burned alive. Archie got away, as you know. Everything's going to hell. Any other criminal would have gone into hiding after this. But not Archie. He gave in to cowardice and bloodlust. You remember that story Charlotte used to tell about the two lovers who got separated? The man in that story is Archie. He was the one who went through that love tragedy. He was the one who locked himself up in the cellar for 30 days. If anyone got wind of this, Archie would have become the primary suspect, and being dead wouldn't have helped him. Not to mention his death would have suddenly looked very suspicious. Charlotte told me all of this when I was taking her out of the hotel. This is a tragic day. Charlotte and Len are not with us anymore. Everyone dies. Owen, Owen, we're here. We have to arrest Archie immediately. Owen, forgive me for everything. Don't waste another second. Go and save Olivia! Get Archie! Have him tried and caught, although he deserves nothing short of death. I see Archie isn't keen on having any visitors today. Go away! Unless you want to die. Don't be a fool, Archie. There's nowhere for you to run. Logan, I've been stringing you along all this time. And you still think I'm a fool? I know how to protect myself. By all means, go ahead. Try your hand at the unknown. You might find freedom. I swear I'll get you, Archie. Maybe you should hurry up. Or Olivia might have some trouble breathing. You devil spawn! If you touch one hair on her head! Please calm down, Owen. I know how hard this is, but we can get him if we keep our cool. Otherwise, he can use our anger against us. I'll do my best, but I can't promise anything. All right, that's all I ask. Pardon, sir. Shall I accompany you inside? No. Stand here and guard Dr. Ross. Yes, sir. We should figure out a way to get inside, fast! You're right. Maybe we can get in if we move this slab out of the way. There's a rope in the trunk. It might come in handy. We might be able to use it to open the front door.
good job. Let's hurry up. There is a door in the kitchen that leads to the cellar. I think that's where Archie is holding his victims. We need to look around for a key. Logan, look out! Damn it! Ooh, that was close. All right, let's keep going. I don't think that was an accident. I know it wasn't. I'll be upstairs. We have to be careful. I'll try. We need to open the door to the cellar immediately. Archie might be holding Olivia in there. I wonder what these pipes are for. They run through the whole house. We need to check out the study. out of place. We should take a look around.
Owen, wait for me. I got held up in the study. It's a strange place. Looks like we found where Archie is holding his victims. Look at these pipes. They run through the whole house. Maybe Archie puts his victims to sleep before he kills them. Oh no! Archie's opened the gas. He, he might go for a lethal dose this time. The pressure is still low. We have to do something. Right now. I don't see a lock on any of these doors. There must be a control panel somewhere else. We should go back to the study. There was something unusual about that place. Olivia, darling, hold on in there for just a little longer. There should be a secret compartment here. We need to find the control panel and cut off the gas as soon as possible. So this is where he's been growing those flowers. Only Archie could taint even a symbol of purity such as these.
Oh no! Olivia! Well, did you find anything? The gas pressure has gone up. We don't have much time. I found a strange book that might fit on that bookshelf. Great. Let's see what happens. Hurry up. Logan! Oh, just you wait, Archie Thompson. I'm going to make sure you get the best treatment in prison. Logan, I'm going to open it. All right, we're almost there. Let's go. Strange, isn't it? It certainly might seem that way to you. I'm sure you weren't expecting to see this. Archie, there's nowhere for you to run. Give yourself up, nice and easy. I wouldn't do that, Detective Green. I pull this handle and everyone dies of poisoning. No sudden moves, if you'd be so kind. But don't worry. This won't take long. You touch that handle, and I'll rip your arms off, you bastard! Owen, keep it together now. It's hard to be... It's hard to be a man of contradictions. To always have to choose between what's dear to you and what's dear to others. Between getting stabbed and fighting back, between being true to yourself and staying alive. Archie, what are you saying? I've always been a man of the arts. I only did something because I believed in it. But the things I've been doing lately, I, I don't believe in them. I only did them to stay out of sight, to stay out of prison, to stay alive. Do you regret what you've done? Yes, but I'm not apologizing to you. I'm apologizing to myself. Our whole lives we put on this show of being independent, of being self-sufficient. But what good is anything we do if there's no one there to see it? All the world's a stage. But why can't an actor play himself? I want a different kind of fame before I die. The audience may be small, but it will do. My heart has been broken for a long time now. I've dedicated my life to setting broken hearts free. And here they are. But it's my own heart that's long overdue. Archie, wait. There's nothing I'd want more than to see you go ahead and do yourself in. I detest you. But first and foremost, I'm a police detective, and I think that you should just- Quiet! I only surrender to myself. And to my art. You'll die like a dog! What the hell is going on? Jaden, what are you doing? I can't even trust you to guard an old man. I- I, I don't know what to say, sir. It all happened so fast. Turn off the gas. The panel is right there. Now, Jaden, turn off the damn gas. Yes, sir. There's a button here, too. It looks like it opens something. 
Push it. It should unlock the doors to the cellar. Benjamin, looks like I'm adding the murder of Archie Thompson to your list of charges. I regret nothing! What have I got to lose? I should go. Olivia is waiting for me. All right, Owen. See about the other prisoners, too. I'll be with you in a minute. You will live forever, I promise you, my 